Welcome back everyone to the Mountain Morning Show. Now, sometimes the hardest things for films to do is to tell a real story. Sometimes in fiction filmmaking, the stories can seem fake. They can seem, you know, outlandish because of how real they are. The one medium that executes real stories perfectly is the documentary medium. And we are joined by director Alexandria Bombach to promote her new documentary that's showing at Sundance. It's called On Her Shoulders. Yes. It's, it's kind of a tough subject. I, I, I want you to just tell us what it's about because I can't do the justice of explaining exactly what it is. Okay. Um, thanks and thank you so much for having me. Uh, On Her Shoulders is about Nadia Murad. Nadia is a Yazidi woman from northern Iraq. In 2014, ISIS committed genocide against the Yazidis. They killed thousands of people and also captured thousands of women into sexual slavery. Nadia had 18 members of her family either killed or captured and she was captured herself. After she escaped, she spoke in front of the UN Security Council and testified about her experience and the experience of her people. That message um, made her kind of the voice and the face of the Yazidis after that. It kind of launched her into being an activist. And that's where my film starts, is following her on that journey of what it's like to be a survivor, 23 years old, with so much pressure on her. And basically, that's why the film's called On Her Shoulders, because she has from then on has to share her story over and over and over again, whether it's interviews or testimonies or one-on-one -on -one meetings of heads of states of people from all over the world. Um, she's telling her story over and over and over again, trying to get the world to care about the Yazidis. And you, you, you said, I think, the most important piece of information, that she's only 23. Yeah, at the time we were filming, yes. And she, she's a diplomat now. She was a, um, a named a, a UN Goodwill Ambassador. Ambassador. Uh, yes. And she was also no nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Yes, yeah. I mean, when you were following her around, how inspiring was it to just hear her story? And the pressure and the things she has to relive I mean, it's not easy. Not easy. I think I had, I had no idea what it was going to be like um, going into this. But what I realized was following her and her telling her story and over and over again, I had no idea what that was, experience was going to look like. And it really took a piece of her every time she had to tell the story. So in, uh, the film itself is really a story about storytelling mm -hmm. and how we package these horrific ideas and trying to get people to care about something. And I, I kind of f first heard about the story of Nadia kind of just this morning. I didn't know anything. Is, is that what you want to bring to these people to be like, look, this is what's going on. And we have this 23-year-old shedding light on it. Yeah. I think what's really unique about On Her Shoulders is that people will go in thinking it's a film about Nadia mm -hmm. and Nadia takes us on this journey of her experience of mm -hmm. trying to get the world to listen and once you leave you realize it's a film about us yeah. and the state of empathy and well, there's so many horrific tragedies going on in the world right now. How are we hearing those stories? What are we doing about it? And so yeah, leaving the film it's really a reflection of our own empathy right now. Well and I think the film can also kind of help people you know, stand up and be like, I have a story to tell her. Mm. Because just the thing she went through is, I, I, I can't, I'm speechless just trying to imagine what she went through. Mm -hmm. when, when you guys did this documentary, were you very hands on with it or were you kind of like, I just want her to do her theme, we're gonna be a fly on the wall? Well, yeah, it was it was very verite, we, um, and we were. I was honored to be given access into her life, and we were the only crew that was able to really film her off the podium in going from place to place. We were in Canada, and Germany, and Greece, and New York, um, but she was she's been to well over twenty countries advocating for this. But um, yeah, it was very verite, just letting her do what she was doing, and that's the style of filmmaking I do. So, and. You, it, it, it's, you said this documentary is artsy. Do you think that takes away from the real storytelling or do you think that amplifies the storytelling? Um, I think On Her Shoulders, is, it's more of a, yeah, it's a verite artful look at this 
um, world that Nadia is in. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's not um, an advocacy piece or anything like mm -hmm. that. It's definitely, it's a character driven piece. Um, wanting to really just be there with Nadia as she's going through these experiences. And are there any more showings for it at Sundance? Yes, we have a, a screen today up at the Mountain, and we also screen on Thursday and Saturday. And where can people go to find out more about what you're doing and what you're making? I, we do have a, a simple website up now. We'll add, be adding more information, but it's onhersholdersfilm.com. Perfect. And Nadia has an initiative called Nadia's Initiative, and it's really easy to find online. And what, what is the initiative for? Right now, their big focus is demining the Sinjar region. Um, ISIS has been, you know, out, is out of the area, but there's still a lot of turmoil and political instability. But the focus is to try and have stability, have resources, demine the area, and a lot of those resources right now are going towards Mosul. But there's huge areas of land like the Sinjar region that need to be talked about as well. Alexandria, thank you so much for thank joining so us much. on the morning show. Thank, thank you for you. getting here. Guys, go and make sure you watch On Her Shoulders. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And because it's, again, documentaries are probably the only medium in film that can tell a real story and have it be just so hard hitting and realistic and eye opening that a fiction film can't do because you're seeing it firsthand. There's, there are no actors. You're seeing Nadia and her story as it's being told and unfolded right there. Keep it tuned to the Mountain Morning Show. We have more coverage coming up next.